The New Britain Board of Education, providing students with a high quality education. Good evening, the time is now 6.06 .06. and I'm going to call this meeting to order. If we could all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Ms. Parker, if you could lead us. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Larry, if you could please call the roll. Paul Rodriguez? Here. Ms. Nicholas Mercer? Here. Ms. Kathy Chan? Here. Mr. Nicholas Mercer? Here. Ms. Kathy Chan? Here. Ms. Kathy Chan? Here. Mr. Nicholas Mercer? 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 Here. Ms. Kathy Chan? Here. M
phenomenal and inspiring, and I'm so proud of every one of them, but she is just a stand-up educator through and through, and we are so blessed to have her. Good evening. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, Nick for uh, putting a moment of silence there for, for Gail West, who was such a tremendous woman, tremendous person. I know as the days go by, we'll, we'll have a lot to say uh, in remembering her. Um, I hope that as time goes on, we can find something to name in her honor in our school district, because she's well, well deserving of that. Uh, to more, uh, to better news, I just want to give congratulate every single person that was part of the Everyday Matters campaign. I know that's still ongoing, uh, but I have to say, uh, for all the years that you know I've been here, especially uh, since I've been elected, this is the best campaign we've done. And you can sense going to the schools today in our first day. And I know uh, Superintendent Sierra was there. There was an energy that you could sense within the school district with the children that I don't think we've seen in a while. And I think that speaks volumes of, of those of us in the community, whether in the, in the political area, those in the school district, or even parents and guardians out there that are coming together in a coordinated effort um, to promote the school district. And I think that you know this summer, there was a lot of festivals and a lot of events that were going on. And you saw someone at least promoting the Everyday Matters campaign. And I think it's, it's been successful. And I wish nothing but the best as we move forward in that campaign. And so I wish every, everyone here a great school year. God bless every single one of you, our teachers, our administrators. Um, I expect big things this year. Thank you. Uh, that was the only person who had signed up to address the board. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to address the board? Anyone else? Third and final time. Okay, I'm going to call public participation close. I'd like to also recognize Alderman Reyes, who is in the audience. Thank you very much for taking the time. Um, don't you have enough meetings? <laughs> <laughs> um, next item on our agenda is Superintendent's report. Superintendent Sarah. Sure. Um, you can read through this. I'll go over briefly, smally in a minute, but I just wanted to comment on um, Alderman Rosado, too. Uh, I am going to just, I have to give a shout out to not only our city and our families, but um, the administrators who worked this summer is so incredibly hard here at Central Office, all the staff that worked. Sometimes, you know, uh, the school year starts and everyone's like, well, that was smooth, but they don't know hours and hours and hours that goes on behind the scenes to ensure that it's smooth from transportation to lining up and for our little ones in a, in a parking lot. I mean, it's hours. And so I, I think that that needs to be recognized that our staff who, who are 12 monthers, right? Um, I think some of us breathed a sigh of relief when the kids came in today, like, okay. <laughs> because we've been, we've been running, running and running. And so I just want to thank um, all of our admins, all of our staff, everyone. They, they've done an amazing job. And we had a great first day of school across the city. Um, uh, Every area, I mean, every building that we went into today, it was it was uh, positive, and, and I think I think you're right, Alderman. Um, it was just a positive experience. Uh, staff seemed in place, um, and so whatever recipe really we really did this summer, I want to make sure we repeat that recipe next because it's a winner. Um, and so it worked out well. Um, as far as Smalley goes, I I'm going to say we have a team of um, custodians who spent the weekend, when I say people rally, we rally. And while Geth, uh, Gail's death was, it's a huge loss for all of us, it's um, amazing to see the spirit in, in our district when people pull together. And from Paul Salina, who the mayor offered to help us out, he was there today, he's been there since last Thursday with me at Smalley, to uh, Smedley, who is jumped from the high school, thank you Damon for letting him go, to come over to Smalley, to our custodians who came from uh, Smith and different and they spent the weekend uh, making sure that the floors were that it was ready to be opened and, and, and um, be there for the kids and the parents so that's another whole weekend of a lot of work um, and again they, they did it effortlessly and everyone comes together so I was really proud of that technically I mean we did get our certificate of occupancy on Friday um, <laughs> 
with conditions, no. but the conditions weren't bad. On Thursday, on Wednesday, I talked to the principal at the time, and she was very concerned with the, the traffic patterns, the original traffic patterns. Just in terms of keeping kids safe, those we have a large walking population to that school, and so we developed a plan that we ran through the New Britain Police Department, um, and we, we executed the plan today. And that was one of their conditions. They wanted to see how the flow would go with the buses coming in. And when I say we made it with probably 50 feet to spare, those six buses they came in, I, was, I felt like I won the lottery when they all pulled in. <laughs> they fit. Um, so we, um, there are some minor things, but uh, in our MIS department, I don't know if Jeff is here yet. Oh, he's here. He's here. He spent Saturday, I think, from morning till night in that building with his department too to make sure that the computers were up and running and every teacher at least had one so again i mean huge efforts on all of the staff's part to to pull to pull this off right i had a teacher say to me this morning well i was pretty sure we were going to get a call from you to say it was going to be a half day because when i left the building on wednesday i thought there's no way this building can open and uh thursday friday saturday sunday and monday people were out there and and pitching in to make sure that it opened and they were they were planting another garden today when i left at 4 30 so that's a good thing um so overall we have some loose ends and ray is on the mend and uh, paul selena is going to help us out with ray he's kind of uh doing some of the moving around for ray 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 uses the phone and paul can do some of the moving around for us um and we will get it we'll get all of those conditions met um i know that we have punch lists going in the tech department and we'll just we'll, we'll whittle those away so that was that's great um i will say the other thing um our staff this summer in terms of hiring um i had dr tucker put the numbers down every one of my administrators this summer and support staff non-certified worked every week on hiring we were aggressive with our with our hiring and calling and making sure and again that was a huge team effort we hired for this school year three administrators 72 teachers one adult education teacher 11 paraeducators eight behavior support assistants and one career coach and the only vacancies we have left and if you recall last year we had 22 to start our year we have a grade five pending teacher um, at lincoln elementary we also have a special education teacher um, opening at new britain high school which even on our weekends we work because I was texting Mark over the weekend to say, found one, found one, found one. Uh, and a district-wide VCBA, which I think we did hire one, and one, where one is pending. So a shout out to all the people wow. who have worked on that, to those teams. They're ongoing interviewing all summer in, yes. in the middle of everything else. So we are really pleased with that. Um, and again, I'm not gonna talk too much about our curricul curriculum renewal. We have talked about it the last two board meetings, and I do have it written down there for you. Know that we're going into partnership now. Um, Trisha Putnam and I sat in on interviews last Thursday night. Uh, we drove out to the northwest corner of the state and sat in on interviews, so we made sure our voice was heard at the table <coughs> as Ed Advance is looking to hire some of those curriculum specialists to help us with that. Um, have any other folks gone over? Yes, some of our some of our uh, New Britain staff has actually uh, actually did apply. So, and the rest you can read. And if you have questions, just let me know, and I'll fill you in. I yield the chair to Solarius. Thank you so much. I'm glad to that you had it for the rest of the time. All right. <laughs> Pardon my uh, lateness. I was at school, and I was trying to get here. Traffic is a nightmare. Traffic is a nightmare. We have a couple of things between yeah. here and there. I was doing that stuff earlier with you, and then hanging out, trying to do the same thing at our school. Later. But we took care of that. And we, we did. Ev oh, yes. last thing. Every child is home. I got the word. I get when I get the text. Every child is home, and I say, "Thank God, day one, we did it." Yes. So everyone's home and safe. That's a good thing. Yay. No matter how long it took them to get there, it's good. It's a good thing. Okay, committee reports, yes. But um, we have not had committee meetings. Does anyone have right. anything for committees that they are dying, burning to tell us all about? No. No? Okay. All right, board reports. I'm sure people have been doing things. 
Hats off to Ms. Rodriguez, who did the bulletin boards. I don't know if we yeah. talked about them, but I heard marvelous things about them. I was getting credit. I'm like, They're Ron like, Rodriguez. They tapped into my <laughs> elementary creativity, <laughs> you know, but yeah. <laughs> All the bulletin boards. Oh, Jefferson. Jefferson. Oh, Jefferson. 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 Jefferson Elementary. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, you did like him. Every <laughs> school. She, did, she was on a she was on a road tour. And I incorporated the B theme in there, mm -hmm. so. I did. I was there today with one. You saw him. Yeah. Um, point of personal privilege. Um, the eighth annual benefit uh, fundraiser for the New Britain High School Marching Band, which is I do every year in honor of my late son, is September 26th at Alvarium. Uh, five to nine, lots of raffle prizes, good beer. Um, anyway, it's a great thing we, you know, that money all goes directly to the marching band. So come on out, socialize, have a good day. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, September 17th is uh, Constitution Day when schools all over the place uh, talk about the Constitution. And this year, uh, we are in the lead up to the uh, Every Decade Census. And the, uh, one of the things that most people don't know is that one out of 10 children is not counted in the census. And it's for different reasons than um, why adults aren't counted. Uh, typically, adults aren't counted because they don't fill out the form. Um, but 85% of kids who aren't counted aren't counted because their parents didn't put them on the form. And frequently that's because they're in some sort of uh, transitional living situation or they are split between households and uh, people think the other one is taking them, uh, putting them on the census. Uh, so Constitution Day is a great opportunity for people to talk about the census. There's obviously in a community with as many immigrants as we have, there has been lots of uncertainty with the whole issue of a citizenship question, which is not on the census. Um, and it is really important that we get a complete count because uh, that census is what is used to uh, figure out how we divvy up things like the Title I grant. And so if a place like New Britain has an undercount, uh, then the suburban towns get some of our money. And so it's really important that we get the census. And there is, um, uh, at countallkids.org, there's a, a set of materials on um, that can be used in classrooms around um, how you talk about the census um, as part of your Constitution Day uh, activities. Wow. I didn't know that's Interesting. Yeah. Go to council. Yeah, that's You have two kids in your house? Yeah. Two. Yeah. Both? Yeah. Oh. Shared custody. But if you share custody, shared custody, I guess, custody you assume the other one. Well, whoever files the tax. We used to do that every other year, so. Who knows? But I had custody, so like, I would just. Yeah, I just, yeah, I mean, it's just something to think about, something that I definitely have never had not thought about before, so definitely it's something to think about. Um, did you want to talk about your education form for these four hours? Yeah, sure. Um, Friday uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. at Diaspora Multicultural Society, which is on 90 John Street. We're hosting our monthly um, empowerment series. We have a, an empowerment series every first Friday from 6 to 8. We talk about a different topic, and this Friday it happens to be urban education. Um, from issues to solutions. So we want to talk about the issues, but sort of move past that to some of the solutions and particularly um, some of the solutions happening in New Britain. So we do have Nancy, Sarah as one of our panelists. Um, we also have uh, State Rep Bobby Sanchez to kind of give the state perspective there. And we have uh, Nichelle Woodson from the RISE Network, which is a whole different perspective um, as well, just to hear from different people. Um, and people who will attend and you know will probably talk a little bit, but it, this is it, it's a forum, but it becomes very interactive. So if you want to go talk a little, hear a little, you're welcome to. Friday. This Friday. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. The next thing on the agenda is. 
hold business for approving the policy for naming an area within or on a school property, which I thought we were going to. It got postponed to our next meeting, which is right. this meeting. And then we're going to post a uh, motion to. Uh, I, yeah, mo I'd like to make a motion to actually postpone this to our next meeting. The reason is uh, some members of the Common Council uh, and the Mayor's Office reached out. They're looking at, um, the, there's a section in the charter that deals with the City Plan Commission that deals with the naming of roads and other such buildings, and they wanted to look at possibly making revisions to that. And if they're planning on making a change to those ordinances, it'd probably be better to just wait for our policy to make sure it aligns with it. Um, I know that you know there, there has been talk uh, on the board or on some board members too, especially at, in the wake of uh, Memorial Mountain, right. Gail West's uh, son passing, doing something memorial for that. So hopefully uh, this is something that the council will take up quickly if they're going to make changes to those ordinances and we can move forward uh, on this at our next meeting. But I'd like to propose we postpone until our next meeting. All in favor of saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Any yes, other second? Second. Somebody second. I think I seconded. I, second. I thought yeah. I, we all were like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody second. Yes. We're all like this. <laughs> Great. Tacit second. All right. Consent agenda, please look at the items that are on there. Give me a moment. Should have that many this time. It's so funny, we were gonna have it like four and a half to nine. I love it. All right. None? All right, seeing no objections. Consent agenda is good. All right. Yes, please. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we actually go into executive session mm -hmm. briefly for items 5A and 5B. Uh, one is a contract mm -hmm. approval uh, for the contract between the board and the Parent Educators Union. The other is a administrative appointment. Mm -hmm. Second. Yeah. All those in favor, same five, saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Um, in that meeting, we need Dr. Tucker. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, Kevin Okay. Mr. Kane and Dr. Tucker, as well as Superintendent Sarah. And we will be back. We are back. Yeah. Maybe. Motion to approve a local uh, contract between the New Britain Board of Education, New Britain uh, Federation of Teachers, uh, Local 2407. Motion. Second. Oh, oh you're second. Right. Second. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I forgot Nicole was here. <laughs> Wait. Federation of Para Educators. Yeah. Yes. You said teachers. teachers. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> you're like, Para Educators. Para Educators. Para My brain translated educators into <laughs> teachers. Because they are. Yes. Like teachers with parachutes. Right. <laughs> yes, because often they are thrown. <laughs> Deployed. Right. Yes, indeed. Okay. Ready? Right. Read you again. Back to Sorry. seriousness. Yes. Motion to approve Local 2407 contract between the Britain Board of Education and the New Britain Federation of Paraeducators. Second. Perfect. Any questions, comments, and concerns? Any comment you would like to add? No. Good. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Perfecto. All right. Next we have a personnel we need to approve an administrative appointment. Um, uh, motion to approve the appointment of Nicole Garces. Did I say that correctly? Yes. Yay. All right. Uh, to the position of district supervisor of small classroom setting at Lincoln Elementary School. Yes effective August 20th because we were lacking for <laughs> Right. <laughs> Second. All right. Um, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Um, Nancy, if you would like to say something, and then the sure. would come up, accept the congratulations of the board, and then thank anyone you would like to thank. Sure. Uh, we are thrilled to have Nicole um, on board with us as one of our administrators, not only for her experience, um, and as you heard, in, um, in the caucus room on uh, students uh, or trauma-informed practices, 
uh, but also her, her history with special education um, at Northern Elementary here in New Britain and her work in New Haven. Um, and it's not only to service our students, but to build capacity in our current administrators and teachers around a more restorative approach uh, and trauma-informed practices in our district. So she's going to really serve our students, but serve our admins and our teachers as well. So we're thrilled to have her on board. Excellent. Thank you. I just want to take this opportunity to just extend my thanks. Um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Um, I'm Today was a great day. Um, I'm excited. To, my staff is great so far. The students were wonderful today. Um, I'm truly grateful for this um, opportunity. Growing up in New Britain, this was a dream. So today, um, my dream has come true. I really um, plan to impact a lot of students. Um, and as Nancy said, the staff and families in New Britain. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Is there anyone you would like to acknowledge or thank that might be in the audience? Oh, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Who's been sitting there very patiently and quietly no, 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 times no, no. two? I'd definitely like to introduce and thank my family, my son Carter, my husband Mike, and that's my mom Sandy and Beck. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for their support. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm impressed with your son. He has done two board meetings. He has done more than some men. They have to go to my last year. They have to go to my last year. Dr. Sanders and her snacks. Good job. Good job. Who snacks Dr. Sanders? The six floors? Six floors. Snacks. Whoever snacks. Wellness approved. Secrets. Because I can do it. Don't Okay. Next on the list, operations. Uh, yes. Uh, next item on the agenda, um, motion to approve the contract between the Consolidated School District and of New Britain and Engaging Schools in the amount of thirty-one thousand one hundred sixteen dollars and four cents. Four cents. Second. Group of four cents. Um, I was yes. good until the four cents. Came. This was <laughs> the, the boards received a couple different presentations on this, both at curriculum committee and last month at our um, at our board meeting. Uh, the, at our non meeting. Uh, non meeting. Uh, our meeting without a board. There we go. Uh, there we go. Um, <laughs> they are going to be doing a lot of work with the curriculum redesign. They've presented a really, I think, a robust plan, and I also like the fact that the goal seems to be towards doing a uh, turnkey, you know, yes. pa passing this over. And I know that Dr. Sims was very excited about the fact that they have a really strong lens towards equ equity and towards mm -hmm. a culturally responsive classroom. And very excited. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I also um, want to echo the um, ambition that Superintendent Sarah has for making sure that this is not just servicing a handful of people, but servicing the whole district, and that we were able to strategically get curriculum looking at it as a district versus one school or one grade level. Um, and I think that's to be commended, you and your team. My team? Yes. Can I just make one, one slight? So D is the one you're referring to. That one's for that's. Oh, no, I don't know why. No, no. But um, engaging, engaging schools. schools is different. At Advance is the one. At Advance is the other one. Engaging Schools is now in year two. I'm sorry. Engaging Schools is the other one. Oh, yes. I jumped the wrong one. I'm sorry. You did. That's it's okay. okay. I just didn't want to have you say, well, no, it's a seven. No, no. So everything we that I just said. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come up. And that we'll was my mistake. I apologize. Well, it's okay. All right. So the next one is Commissioner Scranton, year three. Yes. Yes. Approved. Can I have a motion to approve the New Britain High School Commissioner's Grant for year three? Well, we currently have a pending motion. Did we vote? Oh, she was clarifying, yes. yes. We all clarify for you know what it is, yes? Yeah, for, okay. for everyone's information, that was entirely my mistake. I had crossed wires between engaging schools and at and, and advance, yes. and I apologize. Sorry. Uh, We're engaging schools, which is um, the project that is ongoing, which we have been having community forums, correct? Mm -hmm. That's the one? 
Yes. You want me to explain that? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, everyone clear? All right. That's the one that had the um, daycare program mm -hmm. as well, right? When they had the meetings, they had folks watching the kids. That's not that one? Which one was this one? This is. Um, and you, uh, right. they're helping us with. Um, All right, so maybe just say, engaging. just read that part right there. Sure. Perfect. Um, so the project summary: Engaging Two schools will draft 14 professional learning session agendas for support of New Britain University professional learning sessions for middle school teachers attending NBU. Um, additionally, engaging schools consultants will provide 14. 90-minute calls to support needed adjustments to the agendas, deepened understanding of the agendas by NBU facilitators. So this is now a much lower contract than it was in year one. Mm -hmm. um, we're weaning them off, and, and so we've shifted it where they were pretty heavy in last year and helping mm -hmm. us form the agendas to now more support. Got it. Uh, and our team is picking it up. So it's dropped significantly mm -hmm. in terms of the amount. You will forgive us. It is our. It is all of our first weeks of school too. Right. So we are. We're. We're trying to get our brains around <laughs> which which one we're at right now. Um, I know you guys are in it, and it's your soup, and it's your alphabet soup, and you know which ones are right. which. So please forgive us. All right. So all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Four cents is awful. <laughs> Keep going. All right. So. I will entertain a motion to approve the New Britain High School <laughs> Commissioner's Grant in year three. Motion. Second. Perfect. For an, the amount of $960,000. We like money, so we're happy. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All those in favor? Uh, yes. Sorry. Um, is year three the last year? No. It's How five, right? Well, we have to apply. What, what's our plan? Yeah. Okay. Yes, our it's plan is to apply. So year three is technically the last year. Mm -hmm. um, With the option to pick up two more. Mm -hmm. If we apply, yeah, and they, right. they, they nod in our favor that they like mm -hmm. the work we're doing. Right. And, and they have nodded recently, mm -hmm. haven't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, can someone, and I know this is a lot, but just some highlights um, of what has improved as a result? Um, of this grant? Sure. Mr. Pierce is here and Ms. Sanford. They can give an overview. Hello. Hello. Two of the pillars that were identified in Commissioner's Grant three years ago were to identify instructional practices as one um, track, and the other track was the New Britain Academies at the high school. Um, in, in doing that, the money and the, the uh, opportunities within the grant kind of split in the work that was being done of which part of that was the um, MET Academy and some of the work in there, as well as um, looking at our math initiatives for the curriculum side in the first two years. I'm gonna add to that in, in the two tracks. Um, I can go through and identify some of the things. The first year was a million, second year was 920. The three contracts that you see right below are three of our, um, our partners that as well have weaned their way off as a train the trainer model and moving forward like if we were to apply for year four and receive it by then they should be even be less with the flip of the funding source now we can spend more money in our academies career themes um, picking up the fourth one as a public service academy and ensuring but keeping the vision and i'll let mr pierce talk about that is that what's happening in the classroom on instruction is part of the vision and um I can mention about the, the three contracts that are also up here that would probably be helpful for you. Um, Engaging Schools is also doing some work um, with the high school and they're working around uh, two primary areas. The first one is around uh, climate issues and supporting students, uh, both how adults interact with uh, and provide supports and interventions for students who may be experiencing some difficulties in school, um, and also um, in supporting those kids in a, in a smaller setting, providing them with the, uh, the academic and social emotional skills they need in order to be successful in the high school. Uh, they're also providing leadership support. So um, it's like somebody mentioned turnkey up there. It's similar to that. Um, give us a fish, we'll eat for a day, teach us to fish. <laughs> and so a lot of their work is going to be working with the leadership crew at the high school to really develop our capacity 
to implement intentional instruction wrapped around the, the, the problem of practice and really making sure that there's a thoughtful process for that. So they'll actually be coming in and providing us uh, as a leadership team um, uh, with feedback on how we can increase our capacity to provide that work and lead the work in the high school. So that's really a long-term investment for us. Mr. Pierce, can you also just talk a little bit about the work we did last year around the end of the agenda, but, but the framework of what that agenda did, what, what did that day do for those Okay, so um, the, 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 the MBU really focused on ninth and 10th grade at the high school, and um, a portion of that time was wrapped around the academic and the instructional piece that I mentioned there, um, and uh, so that the teachers would come in uh, with the course, the curriculum work that they're working on right now, and they would collaborate together, and that's the really important piece, I believe, um, and it is the feeling of the teachers there that some of the best work that they're able to produce in terms of professional development is being able to collaborate with with, with their peers and leave those sessions with something that they can then go to the classroom, implement, assess how it did, come back to the crew and, and repeat, right? See if what they're doing is effective, find, identify those effective practices and then continue to build on their instructional capacity. The other portion of the MBU uh, time was wrapped around supporting kids. So trying to implement an authentic uh, SRBI protocol, having time to engage with families, um, and things of that nature. And so we still, the same amount of time, I, the schedule changed a little bit this year, changed a lot of bit, but um, they used to have the whole day off so they would teach four days and then the MBU day would be one day off. And what we've done is just turn that to the horizontal. So it's the same number of minutes. They have the same amount of time devoted to those MBU initiatives. It's just spread out every day uh, throughout the week. Anything else about the commissioner network? Because um, there's, okay. Sort of follow up, you spoke to it a little bit, but was just about the sustainability of any of the efforts once that money is not there. So the, the focus of it is to develop our capacity to do that. And we actually um, uh, used some funds last year to, do, uh, to also do that, um, uh, to develop specifically the administrative and the, de the department heads, the instructional leadership team there, to build our capacity to really craft a thoughtful and meaningful school improvement plan that's implemented and driving the work at the, at the high school this year. And then it's not salary. Pardon? How it's not salary. Yeah, and it's, it's not salaries, right? Uh, and then also a portion of that commissioner's network fund is supporting Ed Advance um, because there's a recognition that we really need to do a lot of work on the curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the high school's kind of at the end of the train. Right, but it's really important that the entire system really develop that capacity right. to for rigorous, relevant, meaningful curriculum for the students. Excellent. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much. All of those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Excellent. And since we just got the background on these, I'll change a motion to approve the contracts through the commissioner's network. The contracts we already have the commissioner's grant. I would motion to approve. Second. Okay. Any more um, clarification needed? Mm -hmm. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Excellent. Aye. Motion to postpone item 5F to a future meeting. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. No. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? I'll entertain a motion to approve the contract between Consolidated School District of New Britain and the Opportunities, Opportunities Industrialization Center of New Britain, also known as OIC. Motion. Second. All right. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Did you fix that typo? Did you have to tell me about it? I don't remember the typo. No. Can you stop Yeah. Oh, okay. not remember. It's okay. I just remember it. OIC has been, as you know, a partner for a very long time. In the last few years, we uh, participated in the Title IV grant, which had three components, um, safe and healthy, well-rounded, and effective use of technology. Our partnership with OIC and Paula is to work with our students in alternative settings to develop career self-awareness and financial literacy. So the contract we have with Paula is in its second year of continuing their work 
where students will go off site and work in the building, whether it's culinary um, and eventually moving into the manufacturing side as well. So they will go to the OIC building? Yes, they have. Okay, now how is, do, are we doing something like with steam with the, the cooking and all that, so? Mm -hmm. Not, well this partnership is with our Brookside School. Okay. Brookside um, too. And you're right, so we want enrichment for all students and the enrichment and what we call our unicorn program, so those programs that are not the That's typical mainstream. Right, so Brookside is one of those. We look to our partners to provide that enrichment. And so they will be leaving the building um, four times a day, a week? Yes. To go to the site. And you use a facility in the culinary kitchens there. Mm -hmm. They do. It's really important. I, we're fortunate that we have middle school and our high school with our culinary kitchens, so it's nice that our alternative settings have the opportunity to go during the day and do the same. Any other questions? I just have a comment. I, I love it when, um, whether it's our general funds, our grant funds, or whatever, um, have to be spent with partners when it is a local nonprofit that knows our students, knows our community, and you know, all the research tells us that's going to be much more effective um, than when you sort of reach to these uh, you know, national companies that just do a cookie cutter thing. So. Very nice. Got my start OIC. Thirteen with years Paula. old with Miss po with Miss Fox, who Ms. still looks the same. I don't know exactly what she's doing, totally but whatever she is doing, I want to be her when I go. Um, so, which is pretty cool. All right. All those in favor, say by by saying aye. Uh, aye. Aye. And those opposed. All right. Uh, motions to approve contracts and affiliation agreements between the district and Quinnipiac University, uh, the district and Central Connecticut State University, the district and University of Connecticut School of Social Work, and between uh, the school district and Sacred Heart University. Sacred Heart University. Thank you. I've never noticed that. Me either. Oh. That's interesting. All right. Second. Questions, comments, or concerns? So we exactly internships and placements internships. Okay. and yeah. Yeah. Um, the majority of it, the bulk of it's internships, right? But I think, if I'm not mistaken, part of it also is pipelining. So yeah. if we have students who intern with us and then we like them and we have vacancies after they've graduated, it is a great way to recruit people who have experience with our students. Because I know at one point there was some thing from Central that came through yeah. that finished, and then they finished in like January, and then we had vacancies. And they so I, um, I just um, sure. Um, so you're absolutely right about the internships. They're updating our MOUs with um, Quinnipiac, uh, Sacred Heart, and um, uh, University of Bridgeport. That's a new one. That intern, that partnership has is new to us in uh, CSDB. Oh, it's, um, which, okay, which ones are they again? Central. UConn, Central, and? UConn, Central, Quinnipiac, and Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart, okay, so what is updated is the, C, uh, the CCSU one. Um, that goes along with our pipeline work uh, with um, uh, the Ed Rising program that's happening, or the profession, the teaching profession pathway at the high school. And what they've done is that we are looking to look at our rising juniors and our seniors and getting them into um, opportunities in the summer to do exploratory work um, on campus. There's two different programs. The, there's the EOY program and then there's the Bridges program. They offer um, the same thing in the field of education but two different opportunities. One is an on-campus opportunity I think it's for four weeks in the summer and the other one is more like a tutoring and um, exploration program as well so uh, CCSU really came to the table this time with really finding ways to really make a commitment to our high school uh, se juniors and seniors and getting them into um, programs over at CCSU so we're really very excited about that one and I, and I do have to say um, 
Tricia, I know, and I'm not sure if Dr. Suna, they go out and they view these candidates too, and so they always have a list, and when something comes up and a young teacher moves out of state or whatever, they have always a list for us to kind of access, just from going out and doing the observations and, you know. Yep, and today we onboarded, uh, CSDMB onboarded 25 uh, promising teachers um, they starting out in that threshold of committing to the profession and on um, Thursday we are going to welcome 50 of our new teacher candidates into the district as well so we have cohort buildings we have five cohort buildings and then two buildings that just have a cohort of uh, student teachers so we've really done a really great job of everybody has the the principals the teachers have done a really great job and uh, Amy Anderson I just wanted to give a big shout out to her um, Amy Anderson and Jess Caymans this summer onboarded uh, 20 te 25 teachers to team they did a team professional development in collaboration with CCSU and now we have uh, 25 new um, team teachers to host our student teachers so um, it's really very exciting work mm -hmm. That's great. excellent thank you all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. aye those opposed excellent Motion, I'll entertain a motion to approve the curriculum support proposal and cost by Ed advance, which is what we thought we were talking about. Right. <laughs> talking about earlier. Hey, we talked all about it. Uh, motion to approve. Second. All the things I said before. That. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just ahead of my time. Yes. Equity lens, equity lens, equity lens. Yeah, I was going to say, and I know that. You know, uh, Nick said I got very excited, but I just want to clarify that obviously I was really about to go in on him about not mentioning that and comparing us to a place like I think yes. Winston, yeah, Winston. Oh, <laughs> like, Winchester. Winchester. So the fact that he said that at the end was kind of like the saving grace, and I'm glad it was discussed. <laughs> um, I'm still by no means endorsing, which is what I said when I asked the right. question. I don't know enough about the companies, mm -hmm. but you know, I know he said like West Ed, right. which is out of San Francisco, and I did do a little research on um, so I'm glad the conversation is had again I always um, advocate for the more local input you know we have places in Connecticut the Connecticut Center for School Change and what you know whatever that do this type of work locally and I know that a lot goes into just even finding the partners and, and I you know and I don't want to minimize that I just want to um, express that for the record so yes. <laughs> Shop local. The excitement was more tongue in cheek. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Okay. Oh. Kelly's first time again. Is it you? I was just going to say, I feel like we just, right just I know. felt like we just did that. Yeah. And they're, it's they're been a year. But they're only yearly. Just Why? racing. Well, no, what we did was we changed what happened? Dr. Tucker. Yes, okay, sorry, we'll put it motion on the floor to, first. Motion <laughs> to approve the contract agreement for educational services between Kelly Services Incorporated and the Consolidated School District of New Britain. Second. Okay, Dr. Tucker, <coughs> what, what is different? Is there, are, can you highlight the differences between last year's and this year's? Actually, if there are any differences. There, I was going to say it's in the contract, I think. Well, yeah, but it's not. Differences? The markup, right? But I mean, are we getting anything different? Because we're paying. Are we getting anything? Right. Yes, I, and I figured that's what it was going to be. But I'd like her to say it for the record. That is what it is. Or you can say it. It's the same. Both the contracts last year, our pricing is the same. But the one thing that we are doing is we are making our rates for uh, our substitute teachers more competitive with other districts. And we've also identified a long-term, a uh, long-term, a, a building sub for each building. Yes. Because what we don't want, and so again, what we found ourselves with last year was way too many vacancies all year, yes. mm -hmm. which we worked very hard on this summer. Right. And the second thing was having those reliable substitutes in our buildings. And so while that costs a little bit, we just said it's worth it because we, we can't have teachers out and kids not getting quality education while the teachers are out. So that's what we Thank you. Uh, through you to Dr. Tucker, do you know what our fill rate was 
last year our average fill rate? I do, and I'm off the top of my head, but I have a report upstairs that I'd be happy to share with you. Okay, I think it'd be. I thought it was 80 something percent. Yeah. Because we did have that presentation. Yeah, I think it'd be important for us as we go forward, even a few months in, to look and see if this is having the effect. It comes to the personnel. Yes. They review it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, and I will also add, Dr. Tucker understands that we have to develop a process, a much better process for hiring during the school year. I like to say that once, once the building's open and students walk through the doors, a principal's day is pretty consumed with all of that other. And so we have to support them at central office by vetting these candidates. Um, and I know Cabinet has done a really good job this summer of doing just that. And I'll just say a lot of it fell on Mike Foran. Um, you know, he, he was the daily checker. Um, he would find applications and be pinging them off to everyone just to keep that moving the whole summer. But it's on the talent office this year to really develop a comprehensive hiring throughout the school year so that we don't, so that we're not using our Kelly subs as long-term substitutes, that we, we fill as quickly as we can and um, that our subs can be used for those instances of sick or, or whatever is needed, so. Um, when it does, when it comes, when Kelly Services does a presentation at personnel, can you just know whoever, whoever is around? I'm so sorry. What, what the fill rate is? Uh, well, what the fill rate is, and just uh, maybe reminding other people that that's going to be the night where they're at personnel, so other people might want to hear about it, because we do a lot of that information sharing in committee, so if, there, if that is one. And they will provide the year end and then the mid year review. So I do have the year end that I'd be happy to share with you. Excellent. I'm sorry, Nancy. I don't want you to grieve you. I know. Don't grieve you. Two more. Well, one more, more meeting. All right. <laughs> sorry. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. All right. Motion to, uh, motion to approve a contract agreement between the Consolidated School District New Britain and Arts for Learning Connecticut in the amount of eighteen thousand dollars. Second. Uh, this is just a contract to provide um, arts enrichment to our transitional center, and I believe it's every just every transitional, transitional center. Center. just the transition yes. center. Right. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Which is awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. Build their confidence in their skills and abilities. I love it. All those in favor, second favor, saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. And operations. I entertain a motion to approve a student transfer. So this is a policy. Second. Sorry. Second. Okay. You wanted to ask a question? I did. Yes. This isn't, we're not approving a transfer, we're approving the policy? No. We are. Look, we have the policy to reference for the action. Okay. Uh, yes. Through you to Mr. Spalding, if he could give us a quick rundown of this. This is the. I can, student. I can actually. Do oh, oh, okay. That I works can do the too. Rundown. Um, so, we have a policy in place yes. where students who are uh, younger than five or younger than the, the cutoff to enter a kindergarten. Correct. It's approved by the Board of Education. Last year, not this school year, but the last school year, a student was admitted into our schools who was below the age. The cutoff. The cutoff. Right. Um, and it should have come to the board, and it didn't. And so now, a year later, um, and I talked to Nick about this, I really didn't know that this happened. Um, and I think it was just an oversight on all of our part that there, there was this policy. So this little peanut who was going into kindergarten at the time went into kindergarten, she's now in first grade, and I did, last month, and I hope it's still here, what I did was, um, I, I, I don't have it with me, but I had her grades to right. show you how she fared in kindergarten. She did well. And her attendance, and it might be in the packet, I'll look here. Um, but I'm looking now to 
have that approved or uh, voted on and approved that this little one can remain in first grade now right. because she really should be in kindergarten this year. Is this a one-time right. thing or is it going to have to be approved every year? No, for her? no it's just, a one-time. This was just a we made a mistake last year. We didn't, gotcha. okay. we didn't, we didn't so bring it to the board. It's to keep her, as it's keep her it's where she currently is. is. Yeah. And the parent and the parent came forward and, and I know in the years past I've had a couple of those approved mm -hmm. and, and whatever. As a principal, I never knew it went to the board. Didn't know that. And we found out from the state. Well, well right. <laughs> I know. So anyway, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention that we have a little one who's now in first grade um, who did very well last year in kindergarten, um, even without your blessing. Sorry. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Right. So, so weird. Right. It's just weird. Right. Well, they've already been in. They've been proven to be successful. I think it would right. be in much, uh, it would be, a worse scenario to be in if the student was not successful, right. we didn't know about it, and then we were trying to figure out what to do with them. Right. It is but because they were. It is in your packet. Yes. I do have it in your packet, the little ones. So. Be, because they were successful and would like to continue progressing forward, I think. Yes. I'd much rather hear that gotcha. than the other. Nancy, you only have it in your packet. Oh, it's oh. only for me. Thank you, Chris. So overall, this little one yeah, met know. expectation yeah. and exceeded expectations. Um, overall, for the entire year, had two tardies and one dismissal, was there 100% of the time. And so I look at that as an indicator of well adjusted, and well adjusted. And she was well adjusted, and it wasn't, it wasn't a hardship for this little one. Mm -hmm. um, and if you would like to look at the grades later, but I mean, she basically was in uh, meeting and, pers uh, and exceeding expectations throughout the entire year, beginning in Q1. She as far as proper goes, good job. Let's right. Do them like right. 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 I just right. wanted to bring yes. it to your Let's attention that we made a mistake. Let's kindergarten last year. Right. And that right. 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 <laughs> Promoted to first grade. Yeah. Yes, we'd like to. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, tell her congratulations. Aye. <laughs> and if she had a kindergarten graduation, aye. we're sorry. Right. Uh, motion to approve a new person, uh, new position request 1.0 FTE for a behavioral support assistant uh, at the Oops. Special Education Bridges Program at Wolverine High School. One second. I feel like we already have this. is another one. Can somebody fill me in on the Bridges Program? Tell me sure. 10 total. Mr. Spalding, this is an addition to, to the 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it obviously. I shouldn't say it obviously, it but my, my guess is that there's a need for us to be asking us to speak. The microphones are for him. Okay. So, um, so the Bridges program, we, re, we renamed or rebranded rather the, our behavioral programs from K through 12. Okay. So before you had, um, we had um, Sunrise and Steps. So now they're all called Bridges. All right. So the, the players are the same. But the name has changed. Um, what we did, though, right? So, correct, correct, correct. And so, what we did at the high school, um, in collaboration with um, the principal, the team there, we've uh, we've taken a space uh, where MBU was. Uh, the four classrooms are there. There's a behavior support room. There's a clinician. This uh, this particular position is part of that program. So it provides extra support. And I heard, by the way, it, it, and Mr. Pierce can speak to that, I, I heard it was a wonderful first day. Um, so it's a great program. And this program is part, this position goes into that program. And I just want to add, I think, and, and you did mention this in June, but it was a six hour marathon, if you recall. So there was a lot coming out yeah. that month. As soon as you said that, I, I Right, remember. and so yeah. I think yes. one of the significant changes is, is recognizing who a teenager is developmentally and that staying in one classroom all day is not conducive to a, a 16 year old or a 15 year old's, you know, what they need in socialization. So there are core content teachers who are certified in special education so that there is movement for these students throughout the day. And it resembles a, a typical, maybe modified schedule. Um, and I, I think that's important to note. Um, and that, that was a part of their plan to recognize who they are as teenagers and that they need something that resembles the mainstream, period. Right. Okay. Sorry, I, as soon as you started to say that, I, it, it came back to me. And I just want to note too that the, the this is being funded through the grant, the special ed grant, the IDEA grant, this position. Okay. 
so what's mainstream and what's with that? Mm -hmm. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. Um, motion to approve a new position request for a 1.0 1, 1. Uh, FTE behavior support assistant at the high school. This is mainstream. Second. Traditional, I should say. Yeah. Um, is that relatively new to the high school to have a BSA? Yes. Okay. I felt that, and that's not the BSA that's for the small caseload of the 40. No, Different that's one. what the elementary school is. But I thought there were. That's the FSL. FSL. Yeah. <laughs> the BSA. Elemental so ABC. Yeah. We got one of those team. coming the OP team. Yeah. 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 So this position um, is uh, being requested to support the work uh, in intervening with students and providing them the restorative portion of the interventions that they need in order to have them be more successful. And right now the deans at the high school have difficulty getting to that portion of the task. So this person, the short end of the story is this person is there to help with more um, I don't want to say more routine, but uh, lower threshold behaviors, specifically focusing on class cuts um, and study hall cuts. So it's really helping facilitate that process to free up the deans to be able to do the more complex intervention uh, for other students who manifest behaviors that really do require those interventions. Yes. Uh, I just have a question. The funding source is through the commissioner's yes, network. That's correct. Um, what what are we going to be doing to be building capacity so that when the funding goes away, is this going to be a position that we have to find money for in the local budget two, three, four years down the road? Or is this going to be something where through capacity building we'll be better to able to handle that? Um, it, it's to get us over the hump, right. Right, right? Because so that we can help support some students, because there's been, uh, be honest, right, there's, there's been some students who have exhibited behaviors that uh, needed support for quite some time, and so there's a lot of learned negative behaviors in the high school, so it's to help us close that gap and intervene with those existing students. A lot of our resources this year are focusing in on the ninth grade and really providing supports for the ninth grade so that we don't find ourselves in needing to continue this position at infinite. So the hope is by the time the money runs out, we won't have the need. Absolutely, right. got it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add to that too. We're gonna look at the ROI over the next three years to say, is it having the intended impact that we set it out to be? Yes. And then we have to make decisions and mm -hmm. we have to say, yes, it did. It really helped So what goes to get, to get this, right? right? So it's kind of like a, kind of a pilot over the next few years. Can we, can we really reduce it? A lot of schools help you as well. Thanks. Thank you. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, motion to approve new position requests for a family li school liaison for the partnership office. Second. Questions, comments? So I'm having a hard time actually pulling up where it is. I, I can't open it on my, thank you, the actual job description. Uh, because for the partnership office, I thought they were attached to schools by yeah. the partnership office. That's where I'm a little lost. Okay. That's right. actually correct. Yes. Yeah. So um, right, currently right now we have four elementary school family school liaisons. Um, one person assigned to Smalley and Chamberlain, another to Jefferson and Vance, another to Smith and Lincoln, and then North End and Gaffney. We do not have anyone for the other elementaries. We have 10 elementaries, including DLO. So the request is that so that all of our elementary schools can have a family school liaison. And we know last year we had 2,334 students that were chronically absent. Right now, our students, our uh, family school liaisons are looking to reach 35 to 40 families, specifically with 18 and 19 absences. But there are some schools that don't have anyone assigned to that work because we, we have a need, but we didn't have, we don't have, um, we have great candidates, but we didn't have the position available. Right. Okay. So they are actually assigned to the partnership office, but they the then they get assigned to schools. So we have yes. none in the middle schools? We well, we have a vacancy right now in one middle school okay. and we have one currently at Pulaski. Okay. So we don't, so there, there's a need there as well. And we don't have any, um, this is such an important part of our community and climate and culture. Um, the state is also talk, working with us. To me that said 
They called me during the summer. Yes. They, somebody showed up at my house. Luis, was it Luis? Mm -hmm. Luis, we did some. Um, yeah. We definitely. The training is happening in the partnership office all summer. We did calls. We did uh, home visits. We uh, we have a, a lot of trainings happening in October. But ultimately, they're working with the principals. They have an identified caseload. Mm -hmm. Um, working with that and then we'll be monitoring that caseload in um, comparison to um, the whole district but it's just not enough it's such an important role and we don't have enough people doing that work cool okay I'm, I'm good now yeah it makes a little bit more sense yeah yeah so it's an additional from what was originally requested just yes. one more yes okay and that I I did um so I kind of around. Yeah, it's just, uh through you Mr. Kane, uh the money for like I know we structured the budget very tightly. Yeah, so yeah, for instance the budget reflects nine and I you know, let's say two were local, three were lines, and then three were lines. There's a short in the budget. We're gonna we're gonna have to find as the year goes on. Yeah. So the third position, no, we do not budget for it. Okay. But the rest, the, the other six, are, are all through grants writing and um, and funding because the purpose from family school. <laughs> just making sure the, <laughs> the rest are through grants. So you gotta get right. No I'm kidding. All right. Um, I was gonna say he's not squirming too much. I was no. trying to work. Right. He's gonna find the money right. somewhere. It's because Nicole's threatening to stab <laughs> <laughs> under the table. We just. <laughs> 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 Every grant, I will say though, every grant that comes out is uh, focusing on chronic absenteeism. Right. And that is uh, something partnership office is looking and focusing on this year, as well as all the FSLs in the schools. But I mean, I know that Louise, he made a difference because of people, they remembered him from the summer. Yes, so. yes Mr. Garcia. And just another quick question, as you mentioned that there are all these grants, is this something where potentially if we fund this now and we later are able to locate grant dollars mm -hmm. to go yeah, towards see, it? Yeah, for right now, I, I don't have the breakdown. Well, it's in the budget, let me see. You know, so, um, We'll just have that strapped around your neck here. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna ask. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Wow. That's so like page uh, 153 of the budget is actually it shows nine spending school liaisons. Two are general fund, one's title one, one's title four, four is the old FRC grants, and one is alliance. <laughs> So some of the 10 positions not in here. Right. So the 10 position right now the middle so It's going to be added to the So it's seven. It was seven that are grant funded. Yes. Just saying. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Good job. And, we, and you actually did write another grant this summer. We're waiting yes. to hear yeah. on that yeah. one. We're hoping. We're yeah. hoping. And if that's? Yeah. That's, that's what we'll go. Oh, look at right. that. Right. But she was preemptive and did write another grant. It may be only 25000 but if we get it, then it's 25000 less than we expect. So we're going to focus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Any chance we can bundle P, Q, and R since they are paraeducators and those are usually dictated by law, you know, hours of need for the students? Mm -hmm. You can make a motion right now? That's okay, that's my motion. <laughs> <laughs> Second. Motion a motion to approve new position requests for uh, five new paraeducators educators in the schools of in the schools of Gaffney, Chamberlain, and Gaffney. Key program. Key, One's the key, key program key, key program, yeah. yes. Okay. But here's PQ and R. What's up? Do you look like you're having a key is bridges? No, just sunrise. No, correct. Okay. <laughs> 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 Mall Street. Key is that still makes pink. a beautiful painting. Key is always key. Bridges, bridges. bridges. Yeah. Yeah. Sunrise, bridges, and bridges. Yeah. keys. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. All, right. All right. All those in favor yeah. signify yeah. by yeah. saying, oh, you want to talk? Did you want any questions? I do want to state that um, for um, for one of those, for R, mm -hmm. okay, um, no, I'm sorry, for Q. Um, we're not actually hiring a new person for that position. I've moved someone from another building to cover that position, and we're fine with that. So I just want to make you aware of that. Okay. It is a position, but but it is uh, we did find someone internally to do, to do that. I also want to point out that the original plan under the key, originally when you guys approved the flex classroom, which you did earlier this year, um, the plan was for five Paris for that classroom, but Danielle Singleton did a phenomenal job reorganizing key and we were able and matching kids up with a, an appropriate teacher, we were able to get that down to three, so we saved two positions there. There you go. We like it. 
feel like you've been to a number of board meetings yeah. and that you know how to He's say like, it. It's like, it's like, let me tell you all the money I say for you what I say no. first. And then I'm going to ask you what you're talking about. All right. Good job. All right. So the, the person, you said you moved someone into a position. So what happened to that position where, where they were? Well, actually, we did an analysis of powers in the district. And we have sort of a model for the number of powers per school. And so Vance had what I felt was an extra power in their building that they didn't, you know, that we could employ somewhere else. And that's what we did. And that's the other piece that we were talking about in terms of position control. Yes. Because special education and the services are fluid, students are transient, oftentimes people get connected to a building even if the kids have left the building. Mm -hmm. And if you're a good principal, you try to hide those people, right? You try to hide them and so yeah. no one sees who's extra. So our job now is to, to really have, a <laughs> idea, <laughs> have a better idea, have a better idea of our caseload. Right. Oh, we all are. <laughs> we all are. They're not looking, we're keeping them. Right? Exactly. <laughs> How can I justify keeping you? Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. exactly. All right, so all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, thank you for your strategic teamwork. Okay. Thank you. I'll stay up here. All right. Yeah, just, 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 just so, so approve a new position request for a board certified behavior analyst for district wide. Second. Questions, yeah. comments, or concerns? No. The, huh? whole, the whole presentation is pulled into my memory. Sorry. Well, actually, so this is the second one. I just want to point this out. So you approved a, a, a first one. So we had a contract, a contractor provided the services, okay? And to the tune of last year of $300,000. Um, we did not come to a meeting of the mines and they were not able to support us. Um, we were gonna um, reduce that contract by $100,000 because you, as you know, this board approved a, a BCBA already. So left $200,000 to work with. Uh, they were not able to support us, so we are going to hire another BC. I'm requesting another this other BCBA and an RBT support person as well, and the money will be funded through the grant. Perfect. And the, is there a cost savings there? Is that what it's like? No, it's oh, it's, it's pretty much it's a flat. A it's a flat. Is it's a flat. More. But we'll have control over the staff. Got it. So we're more more flexible. Right. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. Which was difficult at times last year. But thank you for not you know sticking. Right. Right. Feeling like you had to stay with it. Right. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Excellent. And then the new job description for the motion to Yeah, motion to approve a new job description for registered behavior technician. Uh, just for the board members who don't know interests, there is a replacement copy of that in your oh, packet here. Yeah, I saw the um, and if I could ask Mr. Spalding to explain what exactly a behavior technician is. Well, they, 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 are over, they, are, they work with the BCBA, they intervene with kids have, are having behaviors. Um, it's something, you know, it's between sort of certified staff and a paraprofessional. So they have some, they have some training. They're, um, they're certified through their, organi through the organi their organization. I don't know. Um, with the, with the organization who, certify, who certifies BCBAs, but it's that same national organization. So there's training that they have. Um, they're only required to have a high school education. Some districts require you to have an associate. We said preferred in our, our, uh, in our job description. Um, but they're there to support the team, the school, kids in the building. Um, last year, through the, the third party contractor that we're utilizing. We had about three of them in the district. Um, one of my concerns, just so you know, is we were relying them almost to be like, I wanna say, you know, Paris to the fourth power or something like that. Oh. They were with kids all the time. And what I want, I want our team to do is to train our staff. So these people are there to support kids in a crisis, but then to train Paris and others and teachers and work with them. So when there's a kid in crisis, you know, if that person's not in the room, you know what to do. So that's, that's, that's what this person will do in collaboration with the BCBA, so who will be working for us. Do they also help keep track of data? Yeah, yes, they do. They collect data, and then we use that at PPTs, and you know, how we, how we make decisions. It's like a coda, sort of like a coda in that respect. 
And who's certifying them? Well, they're certified for, for national organizations, not through the state of Connecticut. Oh, okay. Right. Connecticut does not have that certification even for BCBAs. So. Okay. It is. It's frustrating. Oh, I see. Essential. Yes. Any other questions? I'm all for supporting our kids. Yes. Any way possible. This will be our first one, and it'll be sort of a floater. We'll probably be based at Gaffney, but if we, you know, we have someone popping somewhere else, that person will come along. Yeah, oh, I'm sure they'll find them. <coughs> Thank you. I know I saw it. I must have taken it out and got it. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? All right. Motion to approve a new position request for the registered behavior technician that we just discussed. Perfect. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Uh, motion to approve a new position request 0. 0.6 full time uh, 0. 0.6 full time equivalent for pupil services specialist for out uh, uh, sorry pupil ser services specialist out of district liaison for Brook Brookside School and the Roosevelt campus. That's an second. Okay. What did you want to know? That's an existing position. Well, pupil, pupil services, services specialist, out of specialist yeah. DAs, not four. It's so if you stop at the, if you stop at pupil services out place, pupil services specialist out of district liaison is a current position, correct? That is a and current. then the of is person. the where. Right. Well, right. here, here's well, the situation. Yeah. So last well, no, but the four, that all the other schools piece. Yeah. That first part of it, we did have, I thought. I thought. So as you recall, this board approved the hiring of uh, People service specialists for our elementary schools. Um, we had support. We thought that we were going to be able to support the the RELC program through the the um, the person that we had over at Gaffney, but because due to the numbers, it just was not possible. So part of the year we brought a sub in, a retired person who was able to support them. They were also supporting. They were supporting the whole campus, also Brookside. Um, to the tune of about $39,000 last year. Um, so we determined now, you know, um, we, really need a, we really need someone in there because now we have 12 classrooms, pre-K classrooms and over at RELC and just due to the numbers, the sheer numbers of PPTs that are uh, taking place in that building, it's not possible to share those services um, at another building, which we tried to do. So. Um, and this, this position is funded through the IDEA grant. And so it'll be a part-time position, probably three days a week, and this person will float between, um, will be primarily be at RELC, that building, uh, and also Brookside as well. Okay. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? I'm done. Got everything you want. Okay. Motion to adjourn.